There's no shortage of condos going up here in Midtown Toronto's trendy Young and Eglinton area. But what about the people and the buildings that will be displaced in the name of progress? That's the theme of photographer David Tickle's exhibit on display here at Grano. I attended the show opening on February the 6th. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, buonasera. I'm delighted to welcome you here on behalf of Grano, my wife and children's restaurant, which will celebrate its 28th anniversary in May. I was particularly delighted because I understood that the photographs were dealing with Young and Eglinton and its transformation, um, or in my case, We've lived upstairs for 28 plus years of not growing old so gracefully. <laughs> let, let me welcome someone who needs no introduction, our counselor, dear friend, Josh Madlow. Thank you, Roberto. I, first of all, uh, want to acknowledge what I value in what David has done. We have a rapidly changing face here in Young and Eglinton. We are constantly under development pressure some good and some, frankly, egregious. I think it is so important that we as a community have a say in the narrative of how it's gonna grow and how it's gonna change. And at this very moment, David has captured what we love about this neighborhood. The mom pa shops, the artisans, the creativity, the, 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 the people who create such a vibrancy to our main streets. And that's one of the reasons why people come to Young and Eglinton. And the irony is that while more and more people are being asked to move to Young and Eglinton with all the new development, what is often lost is preserving and retaining and celebrating the very reason why those people want to come here in the first place. Before I leave, I want to again thank David and introduce somebody who, if I get my way, we will write in in the 2014 ballot. <laughs> Because he is tiny, because he is perfect, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Mayor David Crombie. First of all, let me thank uh, Josh before he goes. He's done a great job as, uh, as counselor. I hope he wins if he's gonna run again, uh, because I've had to, uh, not had to, but I've worked with him on a couple of issues and a couple of thoughts, and um, he's, he's really worthy of our support. So go pick up the other votes. <laughs> thank you. Uh, so. thank you. The work you see on the wall and the creativity and energy that uh, David brought to it, um, it, it, may mean, it may seem small because it's on a wall and it's in a, in a place like this. But I think the, what he is doing and what he has done is something that we have to remember is so really very important. And I'm just not making up a story. I've seen the changes at Eglinton Young now for about 60 years. Uh, and so, and I have some pictures on the wall of old shopkeepers and old shops and some of the old names. This is a treasure. It, 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 the, the treasure gets better because the older you get and the older, uh, and, and the more other people come later on who don't remember specifically, this will be the record. We are going through, as Josh was saying, an immense, almost revolutionary change in this city. And to remember that we need to put form to memory well, we make new space for a new generation. That's the key. And we want to thank you, David, for reminding us of that. David Tickle. Thank you. Thank you, David Crombie, for a, a wonderful uh, presentation and introduction. And also, Roberto, wherever you are. Is Roberto. 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 Grazie, Roberto. Hi. Come on in, everybody. Just come on in. And um, also, I, I'd like to thank Josh um, for, uh, for his wonderful remarks and his support of this project. Um, and also, by the way, a lot of other people who helped me, not the least of which is Tracy, my comrade in crime in life. <laughs> and most, most important, really, are the people who participated in this project. First of all, as, as those of you who are my friends know and family know, uh, you know, I'm not really a photographer at all. You know, I've, I've been a sort of amateur photographer for very, at various times in my life, and now that I'm moving into a retired or semi-retired or mostly retired mode, I'm trying to find a way to do more photography. It was only after I finished the project that I realized 
what, what, what had been captured here, and it wasn't really what I had set out to do. I didn't really have that, that clarity about it. It's a question, really, and I asked the question there, which is, you know, what values are we going to inculcate when we, when we, when we fight our battles about the, and we do the design of our urban redevelopments? And how, how do we, you know, recognizing that people will come and go, you're not here to, you know, say this business should stay here and that one should leave and we should try to draw this one in, but what, what enablers and what incentives do we put in place to make it possible for these kinds of enterprises to be present in our future neighborhoods as, as we grow and expand them. And that's, to me, what's, what's interesting about, about what I learned from this project. So thank you all for coming. If you're um, interested in learning more about obtaining some of these for your own home, speak to Tracy. Uh, we'd, we'd, love to, <laughs> we'd love it if you would do that. I would love it because it would be uh, great to see that some, this is actually going somewhere. It's not just sitting with us in our, in our pile of photos. Um, and thank you all for being here tonight. Yeah. Oh. Roberto? Oh. Well, Roberto. Okay, I'll, I'll, I, I did say a few words. He did. And, and usually a few is enough uh, <laughs> for most people. However, I just want to congratulate David on, on this wonderful issue. Thank David, uh, uh, our, our mayor uh, in, uh, in eternity, we hope. While I've got your attention, there's a young uh, fellow on staff, uh, a former resident of this ward, and I, I'm sure a voter for Josh, uh, Richard Margison, the great Canadian tenor, has sent our way this great protege, Michael Marino, and in many ways, Canada has had the sun shining on it now for, for, for decades and centuries, and uh, Michael would like to sing O Sole Mio to you. Yeah. Tickles, entrepreneurs and artisans of Young Street, will be on display here at Grano well into the month of March. For the Town Crier, I'm Larry Hurd reporting.